You're here. Thanks again for agreeing to this. You're not wrong. It's only been a few minutes. The highest priority for today is establishing good negotiations with the Chief of Wildfire. Huh? Oh, hold up. I wasn't that late. You weren't that early either. We didn't speak all that much. I know how it is, all right. Negotiations will be held in the Boulder Town Clinic. The Underworld isn't exactly how I remember it. Feels like we're not getting many friendly looks, huh? Well, well, well. I don't think our little clinic has ever played host to an occasion like this. We meet again, Mr. Oleg. <laughs> Oleg will do, son. Oh, you. You probably won't know. Our young Silvermane friend here and I had the pleasure of speaking to each other at a certain Guardian succession ceremony. The name's Serval. I'm, uh, an ex-engineer from the technology division, and... Japard's sister? Pleasure to meet you, Chief. Likewise, miss. The more the merrier. And it's good to have you here again. It bothered me and Natasha that we never arranged a formal welcome for you. We'd be honored. But to your point, Oleg, let's finish our discussions first. Quite right. Let's head inside. Huh. So she's your sister. <laughs> the Landau family is full of talented young people, I see. You're worried that Underworlders might still hold a grudge against the Silvermane Guards. So you want to show your solidarity with the Trailblazers to build some trust. Rebuilding trust between the two worlds has always been a priority for Lady Bronya. People here must have felt abandoned by the Guards after the passage was sealed off. Seems like you have a good handle on the situation. So... You're also saying the Guards want to work with Wildfire and use our reputation to win back people's support, correct? I wouldn't use those exact words, but that is more or less what we want to achieve. If that's the case, I've got a question for you. Since this offer comes from those who left us to our fate for more than a decade, how would you react if Wildfire refused? Would you use force? Uh... She's not trying to be diplomatic about it, is she? Who is she, anyway? <sighs> the barrier between the surface and the underground was the product of the former Supreme Guardian's misjudgment and the policies that resulted from it. The people of Bellabog should have stood together. But instead, we were made to blame and hate one another. Lady Branya wants Bellabog to heal. So the Silvermane Guards need to regain the people's trust. But we won't achieve that by kicking doors open and policing everyone around. As a grassroots organization, Wildfire did an extraordinary job maintaining order for over a decade. In the absence of the Guards, I can assure you that the Guards are not here to seize power. I hope you can see that everything we do, we do to rebuild trust and make Bellabog work for all. I swear, he never used to be this emotionally intelligent. <laughs> That's an answer I can accept. <laughs> Oleg, what do you think? <laughs> I think there's no need for the guessing game to continue. With the help of Branya, Serval, and Japard, we're one step closer to rebuilding a united Bellabog. I agree. Tell Branya that Wildfire will work with the Silvermane Guards on security matters. Uh, uh, monsters! Monsters from the Fragmentum! They're swarming toward the town! Not good. Stay here, Natasha. The patients need you. Understood. We'll be counting on you. 
Everyone rushed outside. I should probably see what's happening. Monsters invaded the mine. Otherwise, those things would tear them apart. Don't worry. The great mine. Understood. Mr. Oleg, the defense of Boulder. Ha! <laughs> your, your troops will. Thank you. I'll go on ahead and lead the troops. I couldn't get a word in while they were talking. A duty bound soldier and a resistance leader. You know, maybe I need to put my inner struggles in a broader context. <laughs> My own way? <laughs> I don't even remember what kind of life I want. It's just... I see people fighting for their lives, and here I am thinking about how to escape. Wait a minute. Was that Japart's plan all along? He was guilt to make me stay? <sighs> That's true. You know the way to the Great Mine, right? That's all you needed to say. All artillery units on standby. Wait for my command to bombard enemy positions and cover our infantry advance. We have a choke point here. Yes, sir. Ah, you're here. The back of the mine has been secured. The battle is fierce. I... I don't know much about warfare, but I don't see why a commander needs to lead the charge. Japard, let me and him clear the way for you. Thanks, Serval. I made a promise to Mr. Oleg to save as many people as possible. There's no stopping you once you've made up your mind. Let's move out. Civilians, please go to the bridge immediately. The Silvermane guards have set up a defensive perimeter. You'll be safe there. There's a monster heading this way. Bring it down. Time for the blaze. blaze. Lance. Forward. Lance at the red. Made it easy for us, but we can't let our guards down. It's safe here. Let's move on. How many can you block? I'm on guard. <laughs> this ends here. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Time for sword play! Ah! Good. Don't mess with me! It'll heal! So you are a fool's nest! We caught them unawares. Japard, look. The miners have put up a makeshift defensive line. Uh, are you the Silvermane Guard? That's right. We're evacuating the miners together with Wildfire. The Silvermane Guards and Wildfire are working together now? Oh, civilians. Girl ran out from our defensive position just when my brother went after her. Understood. I'll bring them back. Thank you. Uh, oh no! Uh, monsters are coming this way! Leave the battle to us. Okay. Help me improve. I'll 
free you from your disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. Lance ablaze. Lance, forward. Practice is over. Swords to set. <laughs> Forged in ice, never falters. Who's next? Let's keep searching for the missing girl and the miner. Is it me or is it I'm with you. cold here? Shift the balance. Will of preservation. the end of the story in your own I'm on guard! What a headache! This ends here! Danger. Let's go. Help me improve. Swords descend. <laughs> A will forged in ice never falters. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Land. Forward. Strike the pot. <laughs> And here. You two. It's too dangerous here. Find the Silvermane guards in Wildfire at the bridge. They'll protect you. Uh, okay. Zeno, take my hand. It's so cold here. The monsters have gotten stronger somehow. Thank goodness we got here in time. And that's one brave little girl. Huh? I wouldn't go that far. I only had Dad to deal with. He could be fierce, but nothing like the monsters here. Besides, my problem with him wasn't that he was a strict father. I just couldn't believe that he never lifted a finger to oppose Kakolia's order to seal the passageway, vowing to protect the Underworlders in one breath, and then deciding they deserve to be abandoned in the next? Family code of conduct. Father was a soldier. He wasn't supposed to question the orders from his superiors. Never mind. I know I sound like I'm defending him, and I don't want to make you angry. I'm angry just thinking about it. Looking back, I'm glad I left home early. Running away doesn't solve the problem. Uh, I'm not trying to change your mind. My choice. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Let's focus on the business at hand. Okay. 
could mean something we haven't encountered before is waiting for us. Did you just scare off a Fragmentum monster? Uh, kind of. There was one on its own. I managed to chase it away. Speaking of which, you came from that direction, right? Did you see two little kids, a girl and her brother? Ah, oh, thank goodness. I chased the monster too far and lost him. They'll be okay now. Ah, oh, thank you. All of you. I heard there's a powerful monster down the road, so... Thanks for the intel. I think he was right about the monster. You two, no sudden... I've seen this type of monster a few times near the restricted zone. Ready? Here we go. Wait, don't get too close. Something's not right. Huh? What is it? These monsters are usually eager to fight. You're guaranteed a fierce battle if you see one in the Fragmentum. But this one doesn't seem concerned about us. I'm not sure either. I just have a feeling that something's different. The air... It's so cold. Stellaron... Promises... Survive. Did it just... talk? Steady. Get ready to counter its attack. Can Japard not hear that? Japard, Serval, Londau. Did it just say Japard and Serval? Uh, that noise. Do fragmentum monsters usually sound like this? Talking? I just hear white noise. Wait, you understand it? names? What's happening here? I heard rumors about this kind of monster. Shadows in the Fragmentum that assume human form are echoes of the will of past guardians. If the rumors are true... Nicolia... You... You just won't stop haunting me. I try everything to put the past behind me. And yet you always manage to creep up again. Kakolia, you... You... Witch! You've terminated my research and ruined my life! What else do you want to take away from me? Calm down, Serval. It's just a Fragmentum illusion. All that time we spent together... Was any of it real? It was so easy for you to just leave this world behind! Don't you at least owe me an explanation! Serval! Londau! Stand down! There is no place for you! The promised new world! Sister! I know you want Madame Kakolia to respond, but this... Thing in front of us is our enemy. It was born out of the evil gathered in the Fragmentum. You won't get answers from it. <sighs> Fight with us, sister. Let's dispel the shadow of the past once and for all. Of course. If you're not yet able to confront the past, then he and I will fight for you. Until your heart is ready. You too. I'm sorry, brother. I always make you worry when things get serious. But I see what you're doing. Reverse psychology, huh? Well, Kakolia. Let's settle this bad blood right here, right now. Swords descend! <laughs> Will 
forged in ice never falters! Hit! Man! Forward! Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Blade and is returning to normal. The monsters are retreating. I think it's safe to say that the shadow of Madame Cacolia was the reason for this invasion. The other anomalies we experienced were probably also a direct result. Whatever the case, we've managed to avert a crisis. Are you okay? It sounds like something the hero of Bellabog would say, all right? It would have taken us much longer to fight off the Shadow without you. Serval, how are you feeling? I... I feel like something... heavy... has finally been lifted. All that noise before it perished. Did you catch what it said? You really made no effort to correct your mistakes, Kakolia. Anyway, it doesn't matter anymore. From here on out, I'm over that woman. I can tell you mean it this time. I'm happy for you, Serval. Looks like we accomplished our mission. I need to get back to the guards in Wildfire to wrap things up. You two should head over to Natasha's place and check in on the wounded. Sure. Come find us later at the clinic. It's getting late. Where to now? I see. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me up to speed. The clinic has been busy while you were gone. All in all, I owe everyone a big thank you. Thanks to Captain Jepard, we managed to keep our losses to a minimum. <laughs> How could I forget about you two? We couldn't have done it without your help. You're too kind. They deserve the real credit. Sounds like you went through a lot of danger. I'm all right, don't worry. Miss Natasha, we've returned. Is that Japard? <laughs> Mr. Oleg has a pretty good handle on what's needed in the mine. He's arranging for rescue teams and supplies to be sent over. Looks like you guys have the situation under control. <sighs> I'd love to sit down and chat with all of you, but I still have a backlog of patients to see. Oh, there was a girl and her brother who said you saved their lives. Natasha's right. We should make sure those children are all right. Come on, drink it up and you'll feel better. But... 
There's smoke coming out of it. Uh, it's you. You saved us from the monsters in the mine. You guys are Silverman guards from the overworld, right? If you hadn't been there, we would have... I'll think of a way to repay you. I'll get a job and... That's very kind of you. If Mom and Dad were still here, they'd want us to return the favor. Mom and Dad went somewhere far away a long time ago. <laughs> Haven't come back yet. They'll come back one day, Zeno. So, you're looking after your brother on your own? That must be hard. <sighs> Not really. It's my responsibility as a sister. I'm just worried that with all these monster invasions, maybe one day I won't. My brother is too young to survive in the underworld. To think he might have to live on his own. The misjudgment of the former Supreme Guardian isolated the Underworld for more than a decade. With that isolation came tragedy. But under Lady Branya's leadership, the Silvermane Guards will atone for past mistakes and bring relief to the people. Captain Chapard. Taking care of yourself is hard enough under these circumstances. Zeno, right? Yes, Mr. Captain. You're still young, so you need to stay under your sister's wing. Be there when she needs you. Okay, sir. Thank you, Captain Chapard. You know, I'm pretty good at turning a happy reunion into a tear fest. If you're not too tired, Chapard, can I talk to you for a moment? What you said back there. Really mean it? Of course I did. And it wasn't some last minute speech I cobbled together. We can't always face problems alone and build walls to keep people out. I know what you're up to, Jeppy. Huh? What do you mean? You made it sound like you were talking to those kids. But you were talking to me. Who's building that wall now? Well, Landau just called out a Landau. Japard, I changed my mind. Change of plan. I've decided to stay in Bellapop. Serval, I... I just want you to know that I would have supported your decision, no matter what you chose. I wasn't trying to force you to stay. I know that, Japard. Don't worry. I've thought this one through for a change. What you said was the last piece of the puzzle for me. I suddenly realized that my decision to leave was just me trying to run away from my problems. I've always found it hard to handle complex relationships, be it Kakolia or my family. The first thought I have when things don't work out is to run away, after all. I'm not doing this on my own, right? Right. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have had any idea about the hardships people were going through in the underworld. I have one last thing that I might need your help with. I want to see the Stellaron. I want to see the place where Kokolia sacrificed herself. Say no more. We'll go with you. Oh, but before that, I need to go back to the workshop and get something. Why don't you head north first and we'll catch up with you. It's all right. I've got Jepard with me. We'll be safe. See you in a bit. Such advanced technology back in the day. Impressive. This is where Madame Cocolia died. Mm. She gave something back in death. I wanted to come here to 
perform for Kakolia. To say goodbye. I'm glad you guys are here to witness it. Not the nicest spot for a show. And the equipment could be better. Sorry about that. The stage is yours, sister. Look at me, Kakolia. Don't you dare look away. Because I... will no longer live in your shadow! Happy? Happy? I just wish I could have seen the look on her face. Shame. <sighs> well, that's all from me. Thanks for sticking by my side throughout all of this. As for tonight, let's go to old Gerda's place and have a big feast to celebrate. <laughs> So, you're getting the tab? 